it's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the vintage crunch effect in Auto Effects. Hope you guys like the preview, I think this effect looks absolutely amazing and I'm excited to show you guys how to make it. If you guys didn't know, we recently launched a grunge presets pack. The effects there is just amazing, works super well for music videos and yeah, if you guys want to check this pack out, we have a discount code for you guys, it's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save $5. Let's get into the tutorial now. So I'm in After Effects and I've added some footage I'm going to be showcasing the effect on. And the first thing we're going to do is basically make a adjustment layer and you're going to do that by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And for this vintage grunge effect, we're going to start off by making a flicker effect, basically. So, so we're going to be adding exposure to this adjustment layer. Here, we're going to be keyframing the exposure and increase it to a very high number. So around five. Go to preview, go to the next frame, drag it down to something like this. Some tiny exposure. Next one, go to maybe one. Next one after that, three, four there. Just so you get this, you can see this flickering animation here. Then open up the adjustment layer, effects, exposure, master. And then here, you're going to be holding alt, press the clock here on exposure, and then loop out. Now we're going to be having this flickering effect here. This already looks really good in my opinion. After that, we're going to be adding an effect called Mosaic. Here, I'm going to be increasing the horizon and vertical blocks to 350. And this is just to get the pixel look or low resolution effect to uh, yeah, the whole effect, basically. After that, I'm going to be adding noise. And I'm going to set the amount of noise to 35%. And if you guys are into the grunge aesthetic and grunge style, I'm going to be showing one of the effects from the grunge preset pack. And I'm going to make a adjustment layer, Control Alt Y, and here I'm going to be adding the grunge effect 34. And this is how the effect is going to look here. Absolutely amazing in my opinion. Really, really cool. And yeah, if you guys want to check this pack out, I have a discount code for you guys. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save $5. Really, really cool effect to use for your music videos. After we have added the noise effect to the vintage crunch effect, we're going to be adding post rise time. And this is where the vintage retro kind of style comes in here I really wanted to make this grunge effect very very laggy so I'm going to set the frame rate to 8 and after that we're going to be adding curves and here you will be playing around a little bit with the colors and here in curves you can change the channel to red green and blue here so these are the colors you can play around with so the red one I'm going to drag down a little bit, green one drag it down as well. I want the blue to pop the most basically. And then you're going to be changing to blue. Here we're going to make some crazy graph here up. Let's make something like this. Adjust a little bit to the look you guys want. Maybe drag this one up a little bit. When you're satisfied with the look you made with the curves, you're going to be adding a glow effect here. So add the normal Altfix glow here. And I'm going to set the glow intensity here to 0.5. And after that, you're going to be pressing Ctrl D to duplicate the glow. And then you're going to change the glow radius to 250. So now we're trying to make the glow more realistic and, you know, have this glowing light, basically. <laughs> and I'm going to decrease the in uh, intensity a little bit. So something like this. Then one more time, Ctrl D. And here, increase the glow radius to 500. And then you can... See if you guys want to increase or decrease the glow intensity. After that, we're going to be adding noise and change the amount of noise to 30%. And this this effect had <laughs> very many, you know, small effects added to it. But, uh, you know, we're almost done now. <laughs> we're going to be adding uh, hue and saturation to this. And here, to make it more grungy, I like to decrease the... Uh, saturation basically because i think this looks a little bit too colorful too blue here so i'm going to be dragging down the saturation to uh, minus 65 and it's going to look something like this but you guys can adjust even more if you guys want to increase or decrease it but i think this is the look uh, i like the most 
And this is the final look here. I think it looks very, very cool. And I really like the laggy look we added to this, which I thought made it even more unique. And if you guys now want to save this as a preset, you guys can you guys can select one of the effects here and then press Control A to select all of the effects here. Then you can go up to Animation, Save Animation Preset, File Explorer is going to pop up, and there you can change the name to whatever you guys want, and then press Save, and the preset is saved. Then you can just go to Effects and Presets, and you will have the effect there, basically. Pretty simple. And if you guys also think this grunge aesthetic, this grunge style looks good don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and share the tutorial don't forget to uh, check out our website with amazing editing packs just like the one i showed you guys before and uh, don't forget to check out our socials as well especially our instagram join our discord server and i'll see you guys soon take care and have a nice day